hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content so i'm still answering some of the questions that have come my way since we started having these fruitful conversations and one of the questions someone asked me is startup or an established organization which should i go for and that's what today's video is about this one is going to benefit everyone no matter where you find yourself whether you are now entering the job market you, know, you find yourself in a startup considering an opportunity in an established organization or you find yourself in an established organization you have gotten a bigger role or a bigger portfolio in a startup and you're considering moving from your established place to a startup so stick with me in today's video and let's just have a conversation about you know startup or established organization which is best for me the first myth i want to bust today is that startups are perpetually chaotic just like the way everything starts without any form everything starts just as an idea and sometimes implementing your ideas can be a bit messy and chaotic but when um, a startup has strong leadership that are committed to you know moving this idea forward driving it making sure it succeeds they put their hands to the plow and they do the work so let's take for example the facebook that we see today was somebody's idea and began as a startup they did the work and they are where they are today so startups are not perpetually chaotic there are people that do the work to move them from that chaotic stage into you know a full-fledged structured organization the second myth i want to bust is that startups don't pay well so most people will make their decision of joining an established company or a startup just because of how much salary they're going to pay because i am fully exposed to a lot of startups and a lot of established organizations and i'm aware that there are a lot of startups that pay very well those that are doing well so we bust those two myths now let's go ahead and and figure out should i be in a startup should i be in an established organization i would like us to narrow down the decision of whether to join a startup or an established organization to the fulfillment of your career goals both short term and long term in view of that i would like us to consider these three questions one. number one do you know what your dream career would be or are you still deciding so let me create this scenario if you are hired in um, an established organization as an analyst you know that your work would have to do with analyzing data and generating reports it's very structured straightforward that's what will be expected of you so long as you are doing that you'll be deemed a successful um, employee in a startup however if you're an analyst it could be many things you'll be wearing thousand hats at the same time and everybody will expect you to deliver whilst you are analyzing generating reports you probably have to manage the front office sometimes sometimes you may even have to conduct interviews trainings and several other things in a startup environment is an all hands on deck environment so if you have the opportunity to choose between working in an established organization and a startup and you have a clear idea that look, i want to build a career as an analyst and there's an established organization that provides that opportunity it will be best to go with that option so that you hone that skill of being an analyst however if you are not sure what your career um, objectives are or what area or industry you want to build a career in a startup environment is a great place to be because you get to test so many skills so many responsibilities so that 
you know in an environment like that you get to find out what you're really good at or what you're really passionate at and then you give yourself to it sometimes you realize that oh you just enjoy multitasking than just being focused in one area so that's one thing you should consider when you are thinking about whether to join a startup or an established organization do i have a, a clear cut path then maybe i should be in an established place where my role is really defined and then i can drill down and become an expert in that area if i'm not so sure let me try to do many things let me spread out so that i eventually find what i'm passionate about and also give myself to it the second question you ask yourself is what resources do i require to achieve my long or short-term career goals now many of us graduate from school studying management and then we get into the market and they give us a job as a manager and you realize that most of the things you learned is in school do not apply to the real world so you need resources in terms of information mentorship and coaching to really do well in your careers so if you are the type that um, would thrive on resources coming from co-workers or senior colleagues then a more structured environment will better suit you but if you are the diy person or a risk taker who has to figure everything, who thrives on figuring everything out by yourself, doing your personal research and all that, then you will thrive in a startup environment. So you ask yourself, what resources would I require? Would I thrive finding information by myself or I'll need guidance, mentorship and coaching? In a startup environment, guidance, mentorship and coaching is an expensive commodity because so many people are depending on you to get things done but in a structured environment even though you're expected to do a lot or much is expected from you you most likely have some coaching some mentorship and guidance to help you succeed so which of these environments will you thrive in what resources would you require how available will it be in a startup or in a structured environment the third question i want you to consider is what environment will help me succeed depending on my personality or my work style would i want an environment where i can think outside the box or without the box or i just want an environment that has strict rules structured methodical way of carrying work out which of those environments would i thrive in remember we are looking at this in light of your long-term and your short-term career goals so what environment would i thrive in that should um, help inform whether to choose to be in a startup environment or an established structured environment so i've met lots of people who would choose to work in a startup or an established organization for these two reasons salary and job security let me just throw this in there volatility uncertainty complexity and ambiguity describes the business world today and you can't make such a decision just based on job security or salary what matters is that you are evolving every day as a person and you are adding value to yourself as a person because that's the currency you require to thrive in these times. Beyond salary and job security, make sure you're always developing. We've shared in a previous video how to increase your value as an employee. You can check that out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. i like to know your thoughts. So please comment, like, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. And don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my next video. Thank you so much, guys.